great virtue of wisdom of Nagarjuna. Mahaprajnaparamita Sastra. Etienne Lamotte. Composed by the Bodhisattva Nagarjuna and translated by the Tripitaka Dharma Karaya Kumarajiva of the land of Kucha. Under the later Sin. Translated from the French. By Galongma Kama Migmi Chodron 2001. Chapter 48 The 18 Emptinesses. Adyatma Sunyata. A. Wording of the 18 Emptinesses. Furthermore, O Subhuti, the great vehicle of the Bodhisattva Mahasattva is 1. The emptiness of internal dharmas. 2. The emptiness of external dharmas. 3. The emptiness of external and internal dharmas. 4. The emptiness of emptiness. 5. Great emptiness. 6. The emptiness of the absolute. 7. The emptiness of the conditioned. 8. The emptiness of the unconditioned. 9. Absolute emptiness. 10. The emptiness of dharmas without end or beginning. 11. The emptiness of non-dispersion. 12. Dot. The emptiness of essence. 13. The emptiness of all dharmas. 14. Dot. The emptiness of specific characteristics. 15. The emptiness of non-perception. 16. The emptiness of non-existence. 17. The emptiness of existence. 18. The emptiness of non-existence and of existence. b. Definition of the first 16 emptinesses. 1. What is the emptiness of internal dharmas? Internal dharmas are the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. Now the eye is empty of eye because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. The ear, nose, tongue, body and mind are empty of ear, nose, tongue, body and mind respectively. Because they are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is their essence. That is called emptiness of internal dharmas. 2. What is the emptiness of external dharmas? External dharmas are color, sound, smell, taste, tangible and dharmas. And yet color is empty of color because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. Likewise, sound, smell, taste, tangible and dharma. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of external dharmas. 3. What is the emptiness of internal and external dharmas? The six inner bases and the six outer bases of consciousness are called internal and external dharmas. And yet the internal dharmas are empty of external dharmas because they are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is their essence. The external dharmas are empty of internal dharmas. Why? Because such is their essence. That is called emptiness of internal and external dharmas. 4. What is the emptiness of emptiness? This emptiness of dharmas is empty of emptiness itself because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of emptiness. 5. What is great emptiness? The region of the east is empty of the region of the east. The region of the south is empty of the region of the south. The region of the west is empty of the region of the west. The region of the north is empty of the region of the north. The region of the nadir is empty of the region of the nadir. The region of the zenith is empty of the region of the zenith. The intermediary regions are empty of the intermediary regions because the regions are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? because such is their nature. That is called great emptiness. 6. What is the emptiness of the Absolute? Here the Absolute is Nirvana, and this Nirvana is empty of Nirvana because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of the Absolute. 7. What is the emptiness of the Conditioned? The conditioned is the world of desire, the world of form and the formless world. And yet the world of desire is empty of the world of desire. 
the world of form is empty of the world of form, the formless world is empty of the formless world because they are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is their essence. That is called emptiness of the conditioned. 8. What is the emptiness of the unconditioned? The unconditioned is that which has neither production nor destruction, neither modification nor duration. That is the unconditioned. Now the unconditioned is empty of the unconditioned because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of the unconditioned. 9. What is absolute emptiness? That which has no limit is absolute. The absolute is empty of the absolute because it is neither eternal, nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called absolute emptiness. 10. What is the emptiness of dharmas without end or beginning? The dharma whose beginning or end are not perceived has neither going nor coming. And yet a dharma without end or beginning is empty of this absence of end and beginning because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of dharmas without end or beginning. 11. What is the emptiness of non-dispersal? That where there is no dispersion. Now non-dispersal is empty of non-dispersal because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of non-dispersal. 12. What is the emptiness of essence? The essence of all conditioned or non-conditioned dharmas is not created by the hearers. Is not created by the Pratyeka Buddhas, is not created by the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas, is not created by the holy, completely and perfectly enlightened Buddhas. The essence is empty of essence because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of essence. 13. What is the emptiness of all dharmas? All dharmas is form, sensation, concept, formations and consciousness. I ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. Color, sound, smell, taste, contact and dharmas. I consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness and mental consciousness. I contact, ear contact, nose contact, tongue contact, body contact and mind contact. Sensation due to eye contact, sensation due to ear contact, sensation due to nose contact, sensation due to tongue contact, sensation due to body contact, sensation due to mind contact. Form dharmas and formless dharmas. Conditioned dharmas and unconditioned dharmas. Those are called all dharmas. Now all dharmas are empty of all dharmas because they are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is their essence. That is called emptiness of all dharmas. 14. What is the emptiness of specific characteristic? Form has, as its characteristics, to be broken up. Sensation, to be experienced. Concept, the grasping of characteristics. Formations, the fact of conditioning. Consciousness, the fact of apprehending. Whether it is a matter of the characteristic of conditioned dharmas or unconditioned dharmas. All these dharmas are each empty of their own characteristic because they are neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is their essence. That is called emptiness of specific characteristics. 15. What is the emptiness of non-perception? It is that where neither the past nor the future nor the duration of the present are perceived. Non-perception is empty of non-perception because it is neither eternal nor transitory. Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of non-perception. 16. What is the emptiness of non-existence and of existence? There is no nature that is a combination of existence and non-existence since all dharmas are produced in dependence on causes and conditions. This alleged combination is empty of combination because it is neither eternal nor transitory. 
Why? Because such is its essence. That is called emptiness of non-existence and self-existence. C. Wording of the four emptinesses. Furthermore, O subhuti. 1. Existence is empty of existence. 2. Non-existence is empty of non-existence. 3. Existence in itself is empty of existence in itself. 4. Other existence is empty of other existence. D. Definition of the four emptinesses. 1. What is existence? By existence is meant the five aggregates. But the five aggregates are empty of the five aggregates. Therefore existence is empty of existence. 2. Why is non-existence empty of non-existence? By non-existence is meant the non-conditioned. But this non-conditioned is empty of non-conditioned. Therefore non-existence is empty of non-existence. 3. Why is self-existence empty of self-existence? By self-existence is meant the true essence. But the emptiness of this true essence is not created by the knowledge nor by the vision of the saints. That is called emptiness of self-existence. 4. What is the emptiness of other existence? Whether the Tathagatas appear or the Tathagatas do not appear. This stability of dharmas, the fundamental element, the certainty of dharmas, the way of existing, the true manner of being, the unchanged manner of being, the utmost point of truth, remains stable. As a result, the fact that these dharmas are empty of intervention of another is called emptiness of other existence. Such, O Subhuti, is the great vehicle of the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas. Second section Emptinesses 1-3. Emptinesses of inner, outer and both inner and outer dharmas. 1. Study of the texts. In order to enter into the great concentrations on emptiness, it is necessary to pass through the lesser gate of means. To learn, recite, memorize, study and apply the Prajna Paramita Sutras. Study of this voluminous literature is the condition for success. And besides, the other Mahayana sutras invariably end with the same demand and promise their readers invaluable spiritual and material benefits. 2. Negation of the apparently real. It must be understood that things as they appear to the deluded minds of worldly people and to the saints exist only in relative provisional truth and that, in real truth, they are. 1. Impermanent, 2. Empty of me and mine. 1. Summary definition of the three emptinesses. 1. Inner emptiness. Inner dharmas are empty of inner dharmas. Inner dharmas are the six internal bases of consciousness. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. The eye is empty. In it there is no me or mine, and there is no dharma I. It is the same for the ear, nose, tongue, body and mind. 2. Outer emptiness. Outer dharmas are empty of outer dharmas. The outer dharmas are the six external bases of consciousness. Color, sound, smell, taste, tangible and dharma. Color is empty. In it there is no me or mine, and there is no dharma color. It is the same for sound, smell, taste, tangible and dharma. 3. Inner and outer emptiness. Inner and outer dharmas are empty of inner and outer dharmas. Inner and outer dharmas are the twelve internal and external bases of consciousness. In these twelve bases, there is no me or mine and there is no inner and outer dharma. 2. Why distinguish eighteen emptinesses? Question. Dharmas are innumerable and the emptinesses corresponding to these dharmas are also innumerable. Why does the Prajnaparamita Sutra pose only 18? Summarily speaking, only one single emptiness, namely, emptiness of all dharmas is needed. Speaking at length, one emptiness should be posed for each dharma. Emptiness of the eye, emptiness of color, etc. Colon. In brief, a very considerable number. Why then does the Prajnaparamita Sutra pose only 18 emptinesses? Answer. If one speaks in summary, the subject is not fully treated. 
If one speaks at length, it becomes overloaded. Thus, when one takes a medicine, if one takes too little, the sickness is not removed. If one takes too much, the symptoms are aggravated. It is by measuring out the medicine according to the sickness and by not taking too much or too little that the sickness can be cured. It is the same with emptiness. If the Buddha were to speak of only one single emptiness, the many wrong views and passions could not be destroyed. If he assumed one emptiness in regard to each wrong view, the emptinesses would be too numerous. People who cling to the nature of emptiness fall into the extreme of nihilism. To speak of the eighteen emptinesses is to hit the target right on. To speak of ten or fifteen emptinesses would likewise provoke doubts, but this is not at issue. Moreover, good and bad dharmas exist in definite numbers. There are four foundations of mindfulness. Four right efforts. 37 auxiliaries to enlightenment, 10 powers, 4 fearlessnesses, 4 unhindered knowledges, 18 special attributes, 5 aggregates, 12 bases of consciousness.